So today we will start with the glimpse of micro environment as we have seen already in micro environment there are various factors like suppliers, intermediaries, competitors, customers and public. Micro environment refers to companies immediate environment and those environmental factors that are in the its proximity. These factors influence the company's non capability to produce the serve market. These are some of the group of people who affect the company's prospect directly and these are the factors. So we will start with suppliers. So suppliers are the firms who can alter the competitor position and their market capabilities. There are raw material suppliers or energy suppliers, suppliers of labor and capital. So according to Michael Porter, it's the relationship between the suppliers and the firm uh, that optimizes the power equation between them. Then uh, next are the intermediaries. Normally every producer has, a, has to appoint a number of intermediaries in assisting him in promoting, selling, distributing the various goods and services to ultimate customers. These, whole, uh, these uh, intermediaries can be your wholesalers, retailers, carry forward agents, distributing market agencies, financial institutions and so on. Uh, the competitors are those who sell the goods and services in the same uh, market with similar description. Uh, so apart from the competition on the price factor, the other forms of competition like product differentiation, it's therefore necessary to build efficient system and marketing. Then as far as customers are con concerned, there, there can be various kinds of customer, ultimate customers or industrial customers or maybe resellers government and non-profit customers and international customers as well. Public, it's a duty of a company to satisfy the public at large along with the competitors and the consumers. So it is uh, necessary to for, for future and their growth. Public relationship are certain, certainly the broad, broad marketing operations which must be fully taken care of. So this was the glimpse of micro environment. In detail, we have seen this in my last lecture. Now today we will start with macro environment. So macro environment, the major external and uncontrollable factors that influence an organization's decisions, decision making and its affect the performance and strategies are called as macro environmental factors. There are number of common approaches how the external factors which are mentioned in the definition by Crohn and which describes the micro environment can be identified and examined. These factors directly or indirectly affect the organizations, but we cannot control these factors. The major external and uncontrollable factors that influence the organization's decision making and affects its performance and strategies are called as macro environmental factors. Company is immediately surrounded by micro environment which thereafter surrounded by macro environment. These macro environmental factors are shown as economic environment, socio-cultural environment, demographic environment, political environment, legal environment, regulatory environment, technological or technical environment and environmental environment. The final aspect of each and every environment now we will see in detail. We will first start with economic environment. So the concept is the economic development of any country is important element when scanning the economic environment. Countries are often categorized as either developing countries or developed countries. The exchange rate of country can have extensive impact on the profitability of any business. Relatively small changes in the exchange rate may be the difference between profit and loss. The economic factors of the business environment are all the variables that impact how the consumers are spending their money and whether the customers are having power to purchase the economy. There are multiple factors that exist at any time. The study of economic environment includes following aspect that includes inflation rate and interest rate of the country offering, growth rate in spending power habits of the citizens, 
rate of people in pensionable age of the country whether the country industry life cycle is going through recession or whether it is going in boom so recession and boom then customer liquidations and balance of sharing the economic environment can impact both organization production and customers decision making process an example of economic factor is recent recession influenced people to spend less and save more which has impacted current customer sp- spending patterns also we can study the economy factor as impact of gst on various prices so this is how we can study the economic environment next is socio cultural environment the concept is when looking at the socio cultural environment it is important to consider the social values of the environment organizations look at the cultural characteristics of the society and consider all values and customs that are often associated with the culture while they try to market and sell the product or services the meaning here is the social cultural environment looks at the demographic characteristics of the current business environment it look at the value customs and norms of the environment of which a company or organization is placed now to study the socio cultural environment we can include various aspects like we can study the values belief of the citizens or people various languages spoken various religions then education level of the citizens and lifestyles of the citizens the impact of the product and services your organization bring to the market have on the society must be considered any elements of the production process or any product or services that are harmful to society should be eliminated to show your organization is taking social responsibility a recent example in this environment and how many sectors are being forced to review their products and services in order to become more environmental friendly products and services offering next is demographic profile this can be beneficial to marketers as they can decide who their product would would be benefit and most and tailor their marketing plan to attract that segment demography covers many aspects that are important to marketers including fin- family dynamics then uh, geographical shifts and level of diversity in a particular or given specified area here the meaning is this refers to studying human population in terms of size density location age gender race and occupation this is very important factor to study for marketers and helps to divide the population into various segments these segments are called as market segment we will study the market segment in next chapter so if we are going to divide the entire market in segmentation then it is very much easy for us to target any specific customers or group of customers the study of demographic profile or environmental include various aspects like age sex then education occupation income size geographic concentration and dispersion urban population and rural population etc it also helps to develop all the ancillaries and supporting of the businesses for example establishment of cement factory or steel plant in backward area will generate employment not only in the factory itself but a fully budget market to cater to the consumption and needs of those employees also shall also come up so this is about demographic profile next important environment is political environment here the concept is generally the government is political institution but it has a social purpose it provides the ways and means of maximizing the social benefits and minimizing the social cost in the present world government interfere in the business activity is a hard fact here the meaning is company or any organization need to consider the political environment when creating their business strategies 
The entire political environment includes looking at the government policies and risk and instability of current political factors. The study of political environment includes following aspects which includes the taxation policy of the government, then trade regulation, stability of the government, unemployment pol policies in that particular country made by government and political stability of the government. Poli political risk can be included in unexpected loss of ownership due to government takeover that is nationalization or changes in labor laws which might increase the cost of the company's workforce. However, often business can anticipate issues by performing a political risk analysis. The political instability can influence the business and the duration of the time that business's organization is profitable. Next factor is legal environment of the particular country. The legal environment includes the laws and regulation of a particular state or particular country. The laws and regulation can influence the way in which organization will market or sell the product or services. The history of business legislation during the past 100 years has been characterized by three distinct legislative philosophies. These are to prevent monopoly and to protect competition, to protect individual customers and third is to protect society. The important laws that affect businesses I have listed out few. These are Import and Export Control Act 1947, then Factories Act 1948, Industry Development and Regulation Act 1951, Monopolies and Restrictive Trade Practices Act 1969, Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999, Securities and Exchange Board of India Act that is SEBI 1992, Consumer Protection Act 1986, and Environmental Protection Act. 1986. Legal system plays important role in business. Business law is complex system of regulation that form the legal environment of any business. Knowledge of the business law is necessary for many management decisions. So this was about legal environment. Next is regulatory environment. The concept is the regulatory environment includes the laws and regulation of a particular country or state. The laws and regulation will influence the way in which the organization will market or sell the products and services. The meaning is the legal factor influence the trade arrangements between the different government and state. The government has a well developed public policy about selling and marketing goods, may limit competition and place other obligation on retailers. Few important laws that affect businesses are employment laws, healthy and safety law, product safety, advertising regulation, product labeling, labor laws, etc. Rules set by regulation are supported by penalties to ensure the compliances. Next environmental factor is technical or technological environment. The technological environment is becoming a lot of important in modern day business environment. New technology produces new opportunities for the companies and organization to create and promote a product. Also to sell various products. Technology is rapidly growing and forever changing. The meaning is the technological environment is perhaps one of the fastest changing factors in the macro environment. It also requires a company to stay ahead of the others and update their own technology as it becomes outdated. They must stay in form of trends so that they can be part of next big things rather than become outdated and suffering from various consequences financially. As these markets developed it, it can create new markets and new uses for the particular product or services. The study of technological environment includes various aspects including internet facility in the country, e-commerce, social media, electronic media, research and development facilities in the country, rate of technological change. 
technological techno, technology sorry telecommunication technology example cell phones and laptops are increasingly the opportunity within the organization to promote and sell particular products and services <clears throat> the internet has become and internet has made the information available to the customers easily to compare the current prices of a particular product or services with the prices of the competitors of the same product or services the internet also creates more opportunity to the market <clears throat> to market and promote the product and services through use of social media as well so this is the technological environment <coughs> next is environmental environment the concept is environmental factors include natural resources that are affected by the process of selling and marketing products and services the two main environmental trend that can be considered when evaluating the natural environment are the increased population and growing shortage of raw materials here the meaning is the earth's renewal of the natural resources such as various forest agricultural products marine products etc must be taken into account there can be also natural non renewable resources such as oil coal minerals etc that may also impact the organization's production capacity the study of environmental environment include various aspects like competitive advantage then uh, waste disposal then energy consumption then uh, uh, population monitoring etc the government regulation are creating practices that encourage environmental sustainability a business might uh, for example utilize recyclable and biodegradable packaging or green marketing practices thus making most of the environmental opportunity to create sustainable organization in the current natural environment <clears throat> then about meso environment meso environment is not there in your syllabus but just i will have a glimpse of it the meso the meso level is settled between the macro and micro level this field deals with the design of the specific environment of the enterprise it is also decisive importance that the layout of the physical infrastructure like transport communication and poor distribution system and of the sector policies especially of the education research and technology policies are oriented towards the competitiveness in addition the design of the trade policy and a system of rules example environmental norms and technological safety standards which contribute to the development of national advantage of the any competitors is relevant like on the micro level on the meso level new patterns of organizations and steering must be developed the state shall give impulses and mediates between the enterprises associations sciences and intermediate institution the design of the locations become like the continuous process on the basis of efforts and enterprises sciences and state as well as the determine cooperative and private public agents so this was about the chapter number 2 so thank you so much here we have seen very small chapter okay here uh, we have seen this just look at the syllabus Uh, here we have seen the concept of environment then what is macro and micro environment we have seen the characteristics of the environment needs and trends then major factors impacting the micro and micro environment then what is need to analyze the marketing environment we have analyzed political economical socio cultural technological legal and demographic so uh, after, apart from these uh, two three more environmental factors also i have uh, given the elaboration plus meso environmental also we have seen then uh, here the outcome was understanding so i hope you have understood the things so here we have to classify the various components of marketing environment of the firm and we have to explain the same in details that we have done so this was about unit number 2 so in the next lecture we will immediately start with unit number 3 
and next lecture will be at 11:30 so i will just send you link again on your whatsapp group through amol nikam sir's number so join at 11 uh, 25 to 30 if you are having any doubts then you can 